Okay, so this video is going to be a quick video on how to write an equation of a line um, given different information, I guess. We'll go for the just different. Oops. Let's scroll this in on my arm. <laughs> okay, so the first equation that I want you to be aware of is point slope equation. So point slope says that you have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 and this is just called point slope. And then also you have y equals mx plus b and this one's called um, slope intercept. So you just need to be aware of what's what. I use point slope to write the equation in slope intercept form. So you use this to write your equation. You need a point and you need the slope. And for, for this um, example, what if I had um, the points 0, negative 2, and the point 4, 6. So here's two points. This is as hard as it gets, is if you're given two points. You have to start with finding the slope, so that in point slope, you can put in the slope and a point. Well, you already have two points that are on that line, so you can use one of those two points, but you have to find the slope. So the slope is y minus y over x minus x. So we're going to go y minus y, so negative 2 minus 6 over x minus x, 0 minus 4, and I could have gone 6 minus a negative 2, 4 minus 0, and I would have got the same answer. So 6, negative 2 minus 6 more is negative 8, 0 minus 4 is negative 4, those will reduce to a 2. So the slope is 2. Now we put this into our formula, y minus y1 um, equals m times x minus x1, and I think I forgot to put the 1 on my original one up top, that's okay. So the ones are where you put the point, and I would go with either point. I like the one with the zero and the negative two, because it's got a zero in it. So I'd go y minus the y1 is negative two. Notice the double negative equals m, we just found is two, minus x minus x1 is zero. And sometimes you can be done here. It depends on if the directions tell you that you need the line to be in slope intercept form. If they don't, you're done. You have an equation. You have your x, you have your y. But if not, you might need to simplify. Double negatives are really a plus, right? And you can distribute. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 0 is 0. And then I can minus the 2 over, and I would minus it over to the number, not the x, because you can't add a 2 and an x and you'd get y equals 2x, negative 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and you're done. That's the equation in slope intercept. So sometimes you can be done here, but typically they like you to keep going. So two points, you find the slope. You use point slope to write it in slope intercept form. Okay. So that's really the harder ones that you could get to. You might have something that says, well, I want it to be parallel um, to something, so let me find an example. Nope, I don't see any. I see some that on the on the work I'm, or the pages I'm looking at that just say something like m, or they already give you slope and a point. So then you get to skip. If they give you slope and a point, you get to skip straight to this step where you put in the slope and the point. You don't have to find the slope, so that's actually easier. Um, oh, here's one. Okay, let me, I found one. So what if I have the equation y equals um, 4x minus 5, and I'm asked to find um, a line that goes through the point um, 2, 4. So you're, you're given an equation of a line and you're given a point and it says I would like an, a new equation where it's parallel to this one and goes through this point. And the directions might say find the equation of the line parallel to the given line and perpendic or perpendicular which we will do that too to the given line. Well you should know parallel 
parallel means you have the same slope. So my m must equal the same slope here, which is 4. Okay, if the equation wouldn't have be written in this form where you can see the slope in front of the x really easy, you, you can, um, you'll need to either solve for y to find that, um, but typically they're written in this form and you can see the slope. So I know the slope and it has to be equal for parallel and I know the point. So I go y minus y equals slope times x minus x and we're done. Okay, again, we could simplify, which I will. So I'm going to times the 4 out, and I would have y minus 4 equals 4x minus 8, and then add the 4 over. So you'd get 4x negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. And this one is parallel. This one's parallel to this one. See how they both have the same slope, but they have different intercepts. This one goes through this point. This one here goes through this point here. Okay, so they're parallel and it goes to that point. What if you were asked for perpendicular? So that means the slopes are flipped over or reciprocal and opposite sign. Well, we know that the slope is four on this original one. So the slope of a perpendicular would become one fourth and it would become negative. So opposite sign, the four was positive on this one um, here. So you would flip it and then make it negative. So we'll use negative one fourth and then, oops, my cord got caught and moved my camera. And then I'll use the point here. So I would go y minus the four y equals our negative one-fourth x minus the x, which is two. And then I have to, to simplify. Or again, I could be done. It depends on if the directions tell you to write it in slope-intercept form. So times the one-fourth through, and you have y minus four equals negative one-fourth x. A negative times a negative is going to give you a plus. Think of this as two over one. So one times two is two. Four times one is four. So you have two fourths, which does reduce to a half. And then I'm going to add the four over, and I'd get y equals negative one fourth x. And what is, think of this as a half, plus four. It's going to be a positive four and a half. The x doesn't quite look like an x. And that's it. That's your answer there. So this one's perpendicular to this original one here. Okay, perpendicular, parallel. See how the slopes are opposite, flipped over versions? And you could graph them on a graphing calculator really easy from the, the textbook if you needed to, to see that. Okay.